Hello, welcome to Cash Cow TV. My name is Ray Adams, Chartered Financial Planner. Today we're going to look at the differences between the basic cash flow and the advanced cash flow modeling tools. Now we have a lot of premium users out there using the basic cash flow and that's because we've made it incredibly simple to use. But what I'd like to do is encourage you to look at the advanced version. Uh, the, the word advanced would give the impression that it's more difficult to use, but actually it's not. I think it's easier. Uh, and you have much more options with it. So let's just actually have a look now and we can do a side-by-side -side comparison about what you can do with the basic and what you can do with the advanced, help you make some of your decisions. So first of all, on the assumptions page with the basic, you have to just add up all of their savings pots and pensions pots and put them in together as one big pot. Now, as you know, clients have pensions and uh, savings and uh, investments. Uh, all having different growth rates. So on the advanced version, you can just put them in as individual pots. Really, really simple. Uh, and then it will show the client what their average return over all of these pots uh, is. Then of course, going into the savings pots, we've got a separate uh, section just for that. And you can specify whether they're pensions and what their tax rate might be in retirement. So it'll already work out somebody wants a thousand pound net in retirement that it would already take 1250 out of the pension every month because it's already paying tax at uh, basic rate. Incomes and expenditures they're very similar in both the the only thing I'd like to throw in there is that we've made life easier on the advanced one you know that there's an income that pretty much every client's going to have called a state pension so we put a shortcut button in the advance so you can just press the shortcut button and it fills in about eight keystrokes for you to save you doing it because we know it's an income we know it's going to keep pace with inflation etc etc so that's something that you can do in the advance which you can't do in the basic the next section which is contributions and withdrawals actually that doesn't exist at all in the basic um, because it just assumes that you're just going to draw on your savings pots but in the advance you can actually specify i want a set income withdrawal from this pot you know, many clients, as you know, will be on drawdown from their pension. So you can actually specify and really personalize, you know, drawdown from prudential pension or whatever it is. The cash flow output, I think we're much cleaner and crisper with the advanced. It's interactive. When you're on screen, you can just mouse above the bars and it will give you an instantaneous value, etc. So much more interactive than the, than the basic version. Yearly breakdown is very similar and creating reports uh, similar, but of course you can now create a word report for the, um, for the advanced. And then things that we can't see on here, of course, is when you go back to do an annual review with the basic, you'd have to re-input all the data again because the basic one was done last year when the client was one year younger. Uh, with the advanced, you can just clone a forecast and start it one year later. So no rekeying of data. So these are just some of the uh, simple improvements we've made, which are going to make life your, your life easier. So please have a look at the, the advanced. If you've already done one in the basic, you can just import it all in to the advanced without any more keying in. So you'll find that we've made life really easy for you guys. So uh, very simple guys, just give it a go.